Hello everyone and welcome to part B of episode 6 of How to Build Your Character in Maya. My name is Brian and in the last episode what we did is we created this open mouth shape and I worked on it a little tiny bit more and uh, yeah so we created this one here. Now what I've also done is I've created several other shapes and I've renamed each one Terrace Mouth Open, Terrace Smile. So let's take a look at the ones that I created. Um, I started off, I've got a default head, I copied a Terrace's head right here copied it and I put it over here just for safekeeping. That way if I want to go through and I want to make additional uh, blend shapes, I can always have I can always use this head here without having to worry about you know having to remove the uh, the influence of the bones and that kind of stuff. So what I've done is I've copied that over here and that's just gonna stay off to the side. I'm not gonna use it, it's just over there someplace. So what I've decided is designed is a open mouth. I designed a smile and you can see that my smile the way that I did my smile is I made sure the lips stayed together. The lips stayed together for the smile because I'm going to combine the open mouth with the smile to create an open mouth smile, right? So that's exactly what you do with blend shapes. You are able to combine these heads into a, a facial feature that you want. So open mouth, smile, a frown, again closed mouth. I have a wide mouth because uh, if you're saying things like E, if you say that word E, E, uh, you will, and you feel your face, you'll feel your face e stretching, so your mouth actually gets wider when you say that. You can get away with very, very few blend shapes. If you were looking to do, if you're just looking to do um, lip sync and that's it, you can probably get away with like three blend shapes that are an open mouth, uh, a wide, and a narrow. And, and with those things alone, you can probably do um, at least a cartoony, convincing uh, uh, lip sync. That's probably all you need. Anything additional is is for is for facial uh, facial um, you know facial things like facial uh, smiles and that kind of stuff. So, so smile frown wide narrow. Uh, this is lower lip down, and that's for saying things like um, like you know like if you just like put your lower lip down. Think of a letter. What's another L L maybe L uh, where your lower lip goes down. Upper lip up for S S. If you, if you actually if you say the word if you S your lower lip goes down and your upper lip goes up. So whenever your character is going to say S, you're going to actually use both of these combined. So the lower lip and the upper, the lower lip down, the upper lip up. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, I have a wink. Um, so this is a, a left wink and a right wink. So all I did is I pulled the eyelids down. Um, this one here is a squint. So I pulled the a left squint. I pulled the eyelid up. And this is a right squint. I pulled the eyelid up. And I added these two here just for fun, which kind of gives a, a left and a right rounded eye in case we want to do that for some reason, maybe for surprise or something like that. Now, there's a lot of other shapes you could do if you really wanted to, a snarl, uh, like anything else you can think of and you, you want to add in here, you can, you can do so. I just wanted to make sure I got this video out, so I built some very quick heads in here, and uh, these are what we're going to use for now, okay? So let me show you what you're going to do. The first thing you're going to do after you've renamed them all to make sure you can identify the heads, you're going to go through and you're going to start on the first head and you're going to select it and you're going to select each one in turn just like this. You can, you can obviously you can drag select if you want to. Uh, I'm selecting each one. Lastly, so your these are all of your all of your um, shaped heads. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to grab the base head, which is this one here, the one that we're trying to control. Boom. I've grabbed the base head now. After that, you're going to go up to in your animation in your animation uh, tab, you're going to go to Create Deformer, and you're going to go to Blend Shape, and I'm going to call this one here uh, Terrace um, Terrace Blends, Mouth Blends, I'll call it, so I can identify it. Terrace Mouth Blends. Perfect. Capital B, not quite perfect yet. Blends. Okay, Create. When I do so now, I'm going to, if I open up that window again, Window, uh, Animation Editor right here, and Blend Shape. You can see Terrace Mouth Blends is right here, and I've got several, uh, I've got, for each one of these heads I've picked, I've actually got this uh, adjustable tab. So what this allows me to do now, let's go and zoom in on Terrace's face, I can obviously do the open mouth, ah, 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 there's my open mouth, and I can combine that with a smile. There, there's his smile, there's an open mouth smile, so you can see how this is what's called an additive blend, meaning however much of this I add, <laughs> however much of this I add, it's going to adjust what's down there. Okay, so I can do a smile, or I could do an open mouth frown. 
or I can make it wider. You know, you can combine these things any way you want. Uh, you can do like a, let's say you want to do an ooh shape, so that would be a mouth slightly open and a narrow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, and, and again, I did not put a whole lot of effort into these into these blends. I designed exactly what I needed, I think, in order to do um, almost any kind of blend shape that I want uh, as far as basic blends and as far as basic lip sync is concerned. What you do want to do, once you have these things together, you want to go through and you want to test how they look together. You want to make sure that, you know, like like if I, if I combine a wide and a narrow, I'm going to get something that's, that's kind of halfway, that maybe not very nice. Like, let's see, what, what might screw up here? If I do a... Uh, something gets over pushed. Let's say I do a, a wide with a smile. So you can see in there right now that is that is messing up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go through, take a look at the blend shapes you've created, try them combining them together. So even just a wide and a smile together doesn't look good, right? You want to make sure like if I lower this a bit or if I lower the wide a bit and you, you can still make a wide smile you just got to find the the limitations of it because some of these are just going to break each other you want to make sure you can find which ones aren't which ones can't work together identify them early so when you actually start to animate you are going to uh, be able to uh, not use those so there's my upper lip down oh that's my eyelid upper lip up for like I actually think did I add a I put this in but it's actually not in place yet so that's like just some teeth. So there's like a, there's kind of a snarl. There's a snarl I can do. And again, not a whole lot of effort in these. <laughs> but you guys, if you take your time and you do them properly, you can get some really nice blend shapes. Okay, take your time, do them properly. I'm actually gonna have to go through and redo these. If I uh, add a little bit of a frown in there, there as a snarl. Um, I'm gonna have to go through and redo these if I want them to look really really good. And I'm going to do that. Okay, so let me just go over these here again. Get rid of this. There's a wink, so you can do a, a, a wink, you know, a wink or a blink, or have like your uh, whatever. There's my squint, so you can make kind of like, let me see, you know, kind of like a sleepier eye. And again, not a whole lot of effort put into these, but that's what they are. All right, everybody, so once that's in place, to animate this, you just got to go through and key these. So let's say, uh, we haven't really discussed this yet, but let's say I wanted him to open his mouth, I would key open mouth on frame 1 just like this and I would slide all the way across to frame 12 and I would slide this up okay, let's turn the teeth off again so we don't see them and I would key that again so now if I go across you can see he's talking hello I'm Terrace so that's actually how you're gonna do the animation afterwards so everybody I hope that that was helpful to you I'm gonna go over the exact ones I've done one more time these are the minimum that you're gonna need I think in order to have a usable character an open mouth a smile a frown a wide, a narrow, uh, upper lip, uh, sorry, lower lip down, upper lip up, a left and right eye blink where the top comes down, a left and right eye squint where the bottom comes up, and the rounded eyes were unnecessary, but I, I added them. Um, there is some really good uh, tutorials out there on lip sync, and uh, one of the books is an older book. It's called Stop Staring. It's an animator book that I've used for a long time. Stop Staring, and it's by a gentleman named uh, Jason Osipa. I think that's how you say his name, Osipa. Uh, anyway, that is, it's got a really good example on exactly how to do blend shapes and exactly what's necessary and not necessary depending on the style you're doing, cartoony or realistic. Check out that book. It's, it's, it's probably in a much later print now than I have. I have a really older one, but uh, it's really a worthwhile guide if you want to take a look at it. So everybody, I hope that was helpful. I hope you are able to follow along. Um, this is kind of a complicated uh, topic. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can uh, contact me through YouTube, okay? So uh, again, if you liked it, make sure you let me know with a thumbs up. If you have any questions or have something to say about the tutorial, let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe. I'm going to try and do a lot more of these videos. They're getting a pretty good reaction. I'm going to try and do a lot more of these videos for you guys, take you through this character, and then we'll talk about the next character afterwards. Okay, everybody? Have yourselves a great night.